The chapel at Elam Christian Centre is a sobering sight. A sea of flowers covers the floor and the walls are marked with page after page of tribute to those lost in the Mangatapopo River last week. The funerals of the victims began on Saturday. Floyd Fernandez was the first farewelled. Today, three more families said goodbye to their children as the lives of Portia McPhail, Tom Shu, and Natasha Bray were celebrated. Monaco Mia Lynn Brown spoke at the funeral of Tom Shu, held at Howick Baptist Church this morning, and paid tribute to the faith of the students. The children, young people of Elam, you have been fabulous. I've been humbled to be amongst you over the last few days. I have just walked with you and I have attempted to share your grief and help you to understand as I've tried to understand. This afternoon around 1300 people showed up at Elam Christian Centre for the funeral of Natasha Bray, filling the church and overflowing into the school gym. Her father Andy Bray paid an emotional tribute to his daughter. You know when we have kids we think our job is to teach them. Actually now I think quite differently, the reason we have children it's as though they can teach us. And I know what a difference you've made to my life. And even in death, your life is being used to touch a nation. The scene was similar on Saturday as the Fernandez family farewelled their son Floyd. Elam Christian Centre pastor Luke Bro spoke then about holding on to faith through tragedy. We are not pretending that everything is great, everything is not great. Bad things do happen to good people. Sometimes life does not seem fair, but faith is facing the facts without getting discouraged. There is very little in life that you can control, so we are going to focus on the things that we can. We have chosen to focus on what is left, not on what is lost. We are devastated by the children we have lost. We are grateful for the family and friends that we still have. Families and friends of the victims will continue to grieve as the week goes on. Tomorrow morning, Anthony Mulder's funeral will be held, and in the afternoon, Tony McLean, the teacher who lost his life in the tragedy, will be farewelled, both at Elam Christian Centre. The final funeral will be for Tara Gregory and is to take place at St Andrew's Presbyterian Church on Wednesday morning. Todd Simmons, Endzone Tonight.